Daniel and I are getting married next year, and this was just a view that we took in of the courtyard in case we happen to get married in that area. Outside, weather permitting, and if there's no other parties going on that same evening. So this is what that would look like. Then we went inside, and we're not getting married in the banquet room because it's just too big, too much. So we're getting married here at the Luminary Lounge upstairs on the top level. It has almost 360 view of the beautiful Forky River. And when the sun goes down, you can see the sunset. This is the bar that we'll have. It's our own little private bar that we'll be using for our wedding. This room would be where the ceremony is inside, if we have it inside. And also the dance room where the dance floor will be. And as you can see, there's plenty of space outside. We are getting married in about mid-September of 2025. So... Hopefully, there'll be nice space there. And there's these stands that we po could potentially use. And this is the size and the table we'll be using for our wedding for just me and Daniel. Then there's the steps that you have to go up and down on. And then there's tables so we can maybe put some stuff on, like the table cards. And there's more pictures that I took. Then that's the bar again. Another angle of the room where you'll take a look at the sunset and the tables are going to be these round ones. We're probably going to have four, most likely. And then another view of the bar and the staircase that leads back downstairs into the bathroom. This again is the room where we're going to have our dance floor and um, the, the, the ceremony will be inside too. Again, there will be plenty of room for me. The weather will be nice. This was a gift I got as a surprise from my cousin Andrew and his wife Jen. She said she got that too. Oh, maybe we will, maybe we won't. If it's meant to be, it'll be. Isn't this so cute? I forgot who gave that to me. It might have been Daniel, either Daniel or his daughter, but I don't remember. That's my bride pin. Um, this I got from. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. I think it came in my first box and we're counting it down. I'm so happy that we're finally in the last year <laughs> or the year of the wedding. It's my first time getting married and hopefully my last time. And that's my new beautiful hand mirror that I bought for myself. Because sometimes you just gotta get yourself something nice. I like to get a lot of nice things. <laughs> but anyhow, then I have my little thing here, my beautiful thing that my cousin's wife gave us. It was the night, one of the nicest surprises I've ever had in my entire 40 years of my life. 40 and a half, almost 42. Um, how old the fuck am I? Almost 41 years of my life. And it was such a nice gift. And I was completely surprised and I had no idea it was coming. I don't even know who it came from until I looked at the little slippy in the Amazon box. And I was like, what? And it came from my cousin's wife and my cousin, of course. And and I stopped putting the numbers in on this one only because it's too much work for me. <laughs> I got a dust, clearly. It's just too much work. But it says, let the adventure begin. And I put one of our photos in here that Daniel made at the park we went to to take engagement photos and I put this peel and stick stuff that I bought it looks so pretty there because this picture doesn't fill the whole space it's the wrong it's the wrong angle but it's the perfect photo until Mr. and Mrs. and then you know what I did in my bedroom drawer I decided to like reorganize stuff in my room while I'm still working on it but I put all of our wedding supplies that I could fit in my drawer my bed drawer in here and these are the what we're probably going to use if I remember to bring it. It's just a pain in the ass. I charged this and tested it and it works okay. I mean we don't really need like a an amphitheater sound microphones but I got these on Amazon. It's in my newest Amazon video. They're cute. They're very lightweight. 
So if we decide we want to do it, we do. If we don't, we don't. And they like they're like in the color scheme that we need for our wedding. And our officiant said she's gonna have her own like. And well, if we're gonna be outside, we're gonna need it. If we're inside, not so much. Oh, there's a sneak peek of our wedding invitations. This is for the bubbles that I ordered, which I'm about to show you. I thought it would be like nice to do something gold. And it was pretty. And this is something that I can use. I got a sign and these bubbles. This I got on Amazon. And this I got from the brand Through Miss to Mrs. Confetti. Confetti.co.uk. I got two boxes because I'm extra. And if we don't use all of them, I can always have my own bubbles. Or we can use these if we have a house wedding party later and down the road. But I thought they were so pretty. And I'll, you know, put them in there. Then I have my sign. Not this one, but this one. That I also got on Amazon. And I framed it. It's a little dented, but hopefully no one notices. I did. It says, bubble send off. Please blow good wishes for the new Mr. and Mrs. Bubble send off. And then I got this from Michael's, I think, online. It's a little beat. It says, reserved in memory of those watching over us from heaven. Then I got a memorial sign for a table. I wanted to put this on a chair for the ceremony. And then, like, maybe at the reception if there's an empty seat. This I got online. And this was a holiday returned item. And I really don't know why. Because I think it's fine. And it comes with a stand. It's a memorial sign. You can't do things one-handed sometimes. It's a memorial sign. You're supposed to peel the, the plastic stuff off. But I'm waiting until we get married. But I need... Oh, it's already peeling. It says, In me loving memory, although we cannot see you, your hands we cannot touch. Your smile never forgotten. You are loved so very much. With your present... Your presence in our hearts. Today we say I do. We probably say our vows being watched over by you. I think this is so cute. And it matches. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just like a one-time thing for the wedding. And I thought it was cute. I got this on Amazon also, if I didn't mention. I'm going to put this in the box. I'm always forgetting to film myself. I only have a couple seconds. This I also bought on Amazon, and it's a Cinderella's carriage. It's a 3D centerpiece. His mom's making one, but I figured they can either use this at the shower that they might be having for me, or on another table. Because we're like a Cinderella happily ever after Disney, like, magical theme wedding. But this was cute. Isn't this cute? It's a 3D... Yeah, old mom's making centerpieces though, like 3D Cinderella's carriages herself. Then I got these for like party favor decorations. Self-explanatory. I got two boxes for the first thing I won and I was like, that might not be enough. Then I got this for a photo booth, either at the wedding or the shower, or both. Shower probably. I got these from Mr. and Mrs. Then I bought these, which I found out yesterday, are now down, marked down for Prime Day, or I, maybe we're just, I think they're just marked down, period. They're, um, I don't want to drop these. They're glass votive candle holders. Crowns. I got these, but they have, like, different styles. I thought this was, like, the best option for us because they're plain jean. And then... It was like a little buggy. Oh, it's six, which would be good because we're not having that many tables. <laughs> Small thing. And then, they're also from Amazon. Then, I got these straws from my Mr. Mixes. These bride to be balloons for, I'm hoping I'll use these up the shower. Second box of the shoes for like decoration party favor. Then, I got this veil that I wore the other day when I made a little video for Mr. and Mrs. I think it was a short, but I don't remember. It might have been a short. Then I got these these poppers, confetti for our table, for the wedding, I think. And then these little confetti popper things. 
the invitations, which I don't want to show you. And then my bride to be sashed with the pin that I got from Mr. and Mrs. And then I'm going to put this all back in my drawer nice and neat. But yeah, that's pretty much what I got. And I wanted to show you this uh, mess of stuff. Sneak peek at the invitations. It's not fully done. Some of the invitations are to be done. I mean, I picked them out, but we have to pr have them printed. But yeah, most of it's done. Well, the main part of the invitation is done. Then we're doing something else. Other inserts for the wedding. There's other inserts for the wedding where different pages that we're going to insert. And those have to be done still. But I have it all planned out.